everybody welcome to another weekly what's for dinner today is sunday and on the media today i am making cornish hens red beans and rice and asparagus i know that sounds like a weird combination oh and i'm making a carrot cake for the hubby because <clears throat> i don't really eat carrot cake I know that sounds like a weird combination, but trust me, it's good. So, I am going to put my Cornish hens in my Instant Pot. I'm going to cook them in my Instant Pot. And this will be the first time that I'm using an Instant Pot. So, <laughs> wish me luck. Hopefully, they turn out pretty good. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Hey y'all, so once again, let's go ahead and get this recipe started. As you know from the intro, I am making Cornish hens, asparagus, and the Zatarin's red beans and rice. And I'm also making this Duncan Hines cake mix with carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. I think that's a good combination. So, this is my first time using... My air fryer, I'm sorry, my Instant Pot, so wish me luck. And I'm also using the Aunt Tino Knows Everything Seasoning. So, I'm going to go ahead and season my chicken. <clears throat> and these are, I can put them in, I can put the hands either in frozen or unfrozen these are halfway unfrozen and before i forget let me get a cup of water well hold on one second i think i want to use chicken broth instead of water hold on one second y'all all right y'all so i have some of this college in chicken broth that i'm going to use because i feel like the chicken broth will give it a little more flavor than the water will so, let's go ahead and measure out a cup of water. I'm sorry, why do I keep saying water, y'all? A cup of liquid. <laughs> All right, it's just a little over a cup. That's fine. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pour my liquid in there. Let's see if I have some tongs. I do. All right. So let's go ahead and finish seasoning it up. These Cornish hens. Uh-oh. I really didn't want to touch them with my hand, but okay, there it is. There. All right, so let's go ahead and put these bad babies in here. Let's throw this away first. All right, let me show you guys what it looks like. So that is what it looks like. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more seasoning. And then I am supposed to put the lid on. Oh Lord, y'all this much hold on all right y'all i was putting the lid on wrong but anyway it's there and i'm supposed to seal that which is already sealed and then i'm going to i guess one three go to manual oh go to manual and I'm going to cook it for about 50 minutes. All 
All right, so, and I hit start. And um, I guess it's starting y'all. So let's go ahead and get ready to prepare my asparagus. Let me wash it off and I'll be back. All right y'all, so this is what the Cornish hands are looking like just um coming out of the instapot so i'm going to put these on a tray and i'm going to stick them in the oven on the broil for a little bit so give me a second all right y'all so this is what the cornish hens are looking like i'm going to go ahead and put them in the oven on the broil probably for about a good five minutes so it can get a little crispier so i'll be back Think it's time you left 
One step forward, two steps backward, yeah Time's about run now to use those big words, yeah I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want mm -hmm. Baby, dig deep, it's time to make a move on my heart What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? All right, y'all, so I have let the cakes cool. And let me start off by saying I am not a cake decorator. I cannot decorate a cake for the life of me. But, hey, <laughs> as long as the cake is done, it's edible, that's all that matters to me. Because, like I said, I can't decorate a cake. <laughs> I know for some people. But y'all, I don't even really eat carrot cake and this is smelling so good. So I may just have to try a piece of this. But yeah, let me go ahead and try to attempt to decorate. Don't come for me, cause I already told y'all, I don't know how to decorate a cake. So, you know, be nice, <laughs> please be nice. Some things I'm good at. Some things I'm not. And decorating a cake is one thing I'm not good at. So, yeah. So, we'll just see how this one comes out, I guess. Either way, it's going to get eaten. Will this decorate it pretty or not? It is going to get eaten. That's all that matters. Oh, y'all, I'm sorry. And this is the icing that I'm using. This Duncan Hines. Cream cheese icing. I don't know why I didn't put this on my Susie Lazen, which would have been better for me to go around in a circle. But hey, it is what it is now. Okay, for the size, put just a little bit more right here. Put the second layer on. They're not the same size, so hey. <laughs> like I said, I tried. That's all that matters. y'all so here is my cake i think i did a pretty good job if i may say so either way the hubby is still going to eat it so yeah i'll be back all right y'all so these are these expensive asparagus that i got <laughs> um I know normally, I guess, what do you do? You find a little, um, what is it, a little, 
um, flexible part and just break it off. All right, so I think that's where we're gonna cut it. I think. Let me try another one. Okay, right there. So that's where all of them are gonna be cut. So, you know what? Let me just. Y'all already know. I don't. I don't know the first thing about cooking asparagus, but yeah. Uh oh. I guess it would help if I take the cover off the knife, right? So I'm just gonna. You know what? It's probably be better if I just pop them. I'm going to roast them. I got my oven preheat now to, to 450 degrees. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm popping these right, but hey. <laughs> and I'm just going to this is the seasoning that I'm going to use this go around. It has uh, salt, pepper, and garlic in it, which is the kinder seasoning mix. And I think I got that from uh, Target, y'all. Okay, so seems to be popping okay. I guess I got a lot for almost $14. Let me tell y'all the story because I, I uh, did it on my uh, grocery haul, uh, which y'all will probably see Tuesday. But I asked the gentleman where were the um, asparagus because my husband wanted asparagus. So she, he showed me two different things. He showed me these, which were the fresh ones, and some that was in a box. I'm sorry, that was in a bag. And he's like, oh, they're the same price. So me not looking closely, I saw that it said $2.99, right? So I just grabbed these. Didn't check my re my receipt until I got home. I'm like, why was my grocery so high? Normally I check it when I'm in the store or, or when I get in the car, but I just didn't for whatever reason. Got home, checked it, I was like, Thirteen forty-three for some doggone asparagus. So y'all, they were two ninety-nine a pound. <laughs> Needless to say. All right. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and put a little oil on here. Still waiting on my oven to preheat, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle. Some of this kinder on here. Like I said, it has the salt, garlic powder. I mean, it has the salt, garlic, and pepper. And then just kind of mix it up. Put it in that 450 degree preheated oven and it's probably going to cook. Uh, I said maybe about 20 minutes and dinner will be done and I will come back and show you what everything looks like. All right, y'all. So I have taken the asparagus out of the oven. This is what it looks like. And I forgot I, I had this here. I bought this from Pizza Hut. This is, um, what is this? Parmesan, Romano, and hard grated cheese blend. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of that on here. All right, y'all. I will be back and show you what my plate looks like. All right, y'all. So this is what me and the hubby plate is looking like. I have my Cornish hen right here, which I'm not going to eat this whole thing. So, yeah, I have this for leftovers on Monday. My red beans and rice and my asparagus. So I want to thank you for joining me on this What's for Dinner. And I'll see you on the next one.
Hey y'all, today is Wednesday. Welcome to another nightly what's for dinner. So I didn't cook today and I ordered me and the hubby out something to eat from Country Cabin. Let me show you his. This is what he got. A um, half a chicken and some uh, mashed potatoes with gravy and some green beans. And this is what I got. Y'all, I am not happy with this potato right now. But, yeah. And I got that. And my bread. Corn on the cob. Some mashed potatoes and gravy. And I got chicken fried steak. So, yeah. This is what was for dinner on today. And I'll see you on the next one. Hey, y'all. Welcome to another nightly what's for dinner. Today is Thursday, and I didn't show the process of me cooking the hot dogs. We all know how to cook hot dogs. And, um, yeah, tonight is game night, so I needed something quick and simple. So these are my slaw dogs. I just have some hot dogs with some slaw and mustard. And, yeah, thanks for joining me on this Thursday night what's for dinner, and I will see you on the next one.